everyone, welcome to Ecoholics. In our previous videos, we have discussed direct method and assumed mean method for calculating arithmetic mean in case of continuous series. In this video, we'll be discussing step deviation method. Now, why do we use step deviation method? Direct method is one of the simplest method, but when midpoints and frequencies are large in magnitude, calculating arithmetic mean using direct method becomes difficult and therefore we use step deviation method to make our calculation simpler. Step deviation method is used to minimize our calculations. Now coming on to formula. Now the formula is x bar is equal to a plus summation f d dash upon summation f into c where x bar is our arithmetic mean A is our assumed mean F represents our frequencies D dash is equal to D by C where D is our deviations of midpoints from assumed mean. And C represents a common factor. So, we divide our deviations of midpoints from assumed mean by common factor to minimize our calculations or to make our calculations simpler. Now, let's look at this example. The following table shows marks of students of a class. Find out the average marks scored by students. So, we have marks of students which is given in the form of class interval. So, therefore, this becomes a continuous series. because it is given in the form of class intervals and we have number of students which represents our frequency. Now, we have marks of students given in the form of class interval. We have number of students which represent our frequency and we'll be calculating midpoints now. So, the formula for calculating midpoint is M is equal to L1 plus L2 divided by 2, where L1 is a lower limit of class interval and L2 is upper limit of class interval. Now, in this case, our lower limit is 0 and our upper limit is 10. So, midpoint is equal to 0 plus 10 divided by 2, which is equal to 10 by 2 and this gives us 5. Now, in a second case, m is equal to 10 plus 20 divided by 2. This gives us 30 by 2 and 30 by 2 is 50. Next, we have midpoint as 20 plus 30 divided by 2. This becomes equal to 50 by 2 and this is equal to 25. Then we have m is equal to 30 plus 40 divided by 2 which is equal to 70 by 2. And this gives us 35. Next we have m is equal to 40 plus 50 divided by 2. This gives us 90 by 2 and this is equal to 45. Next 
we have 50 plus 60 divided by 2. This gives us 110 divided by 2, which is equal to 55. Next, we have m is equal to 60 plus 70 divided by 2. This gives us 130 by 2, which is equal to 65. Now, we'll be calculating deviations. So, this D represents deviations of midpoint from assumed mean. Now, we can take assumed mean to be any number. So, in this case, we take assumed mean to be 35. So, in our first case, D is equal to M, which is equal to 5 in this case. So, 5 minus 35. Therefore, D is equal to minus 30. Next, we have D is equal to 15 minus 35, which gives us minus 20. Next, we have D is equal to 25 minus 35. So, D in this case is equal to minus 10. Next, we have D is equal to 35 minus 35. Therefore, D is equal to 0. Next, D is equal to 45 minus 35. So, in this case, D is equal to 10. So, in this case, we have D is equal to 55 minus 35. Therefore, D is equal to 20. Next, we have D is equal to 65 minus 35. In this case, D is equal to 30. We take a common factor C is equal to 10 just to minimize our calculations. So, in our first case, we have D dash is equal to minus 30 divided by 10, which is equal to minus 3. Next, we have D dash is equal to minus 20 by 10, that is equal to minus 2. Then, here we have D dash is equal to minus 10 divided by 10, which gives us minus 1. Next, we have D dash is equal to 0 by 10, which gives us 0. Next, we have D dash is equal to 10 by 10, which gives us 1. Next, D dash is equal to 20 by 10. So, this becomes equal to 2. Next, we have D dash is equal to 30 by 10, which gives us 3. Now, we'll calculate F into D dash. So, we have F and this is D dash. So, first case we have F as 10. So, 10 multiplied by minus 3 is equal to minus 30. Next, we have 20 multiplied by minus 2. This gives us minus 40. Next, we have 35 multiplied by minus 1. This gives us minus 35. Next, we have 40 multiplied by 0. This gives us 0. Next, we have 25 multiplied by 1. This gives us 25. Next, we have 25 multiplied by 2. This gives us 50. Next, we have 15 multiplied by 3. This gives us 45. Now, minus 30 minus 40 is minus 70. Minus 70 minus 35. This gives us minus 105. Now, similarly this. 25 plus 50 gives us 75. 75 plus 45 gives us 120. 
Now, from this, we have summation F D dash as summation F D dash is equal to 120 minus 105. So, 120 minus 105, this gives us 50. Similarly, we will calculate all our frequencies and summation of F that is 10 plus 20 plus 35 plus 40 plus 25 plus 25 plus 15. This gives us 170. Now, using this formula, we will be calculating our arithmetic mean. So, our formula for calculating arithmetic mean is equal to x bar is equal to a plus summation f d dash upon summation f into c. Now, our assumed mean, so our assumed mean is 35. Next, we have summation f d dash which is equal to 15. Next, we have summation F. So, summation F is 170. And C, our common factor, we have taken our common factor as 10. So, substituting this values in our equation, what we get is x bar is equal to 35 plus 15 divided by 170 into 10. So, x bar is equal to 35 plus 15 by 17. So, x bar is equal to 35 plus 0 0.8 8, 2. So, our x bar is equal to 35.882. So, this is our value of arithmetic mean using step deviation method. That's it for this video. Do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you.